Welcome. And what do you do when, you know, a rocker is making his last tour? And that's how you guarantee. So the anti monikers have been good for the monarchy because they've really promoted the king's last tour. But it won't be his last because there will be other realms, you know, that he'll be visiting. But for me, it's, it's I'm excited. I wouldn't have missed it. Catherine, I just noticed this flag you have here. What is your tactic in catching the royal couple's attention this morning? Oh, well, I know I've been told where to go by, by someone in the know. But it's generally carrying the two flags. And um, I feel a bit out of place next to the decolonised group, but they're peacefully protesting and they have a right to do that, as I do with my flags, you know. It is shaping up to be a very eventful and exciting day. The official engagements will kick off, guys, at 10.30 this morning when the King and Queen will attend a very formal but moving church service to be officiated by the Archbishop of Sydney, guys. OK, Annie, so after they have left you, they'll then head over to Taylor Aiken, who's at State Parliament. Taylor, talk us through the rest of the day for the King and Queen. Well, Matt and Monique, good morning. Well, after a day of rest yesterday, the King didn't make it to the uh, Everest Cup Carnival, but today they are raring, ready to go. 